welcome guys to exact where. Um, just curious, if you, I know we've got a few current employees here. Do you mind raising your hand when I've got? Okay, one, two, three, cool. Welcome, guys. Um, and everyone else, welcome to Exactware. For those of you who don't know what Exactware is, who we are, what we do, surprise if you're not Exacto Knights, or we, we get lots of accounts. So I used to be in HR, and people thought we are a pharmaceutical company, all sorts of things. So I will set the record straight. We are a property estimation software. So if you've ever, I don't know, by raising hands, has anyone ever made a claim on their home, uh, flood, fire, any sort of damage? Um, if you've had experience with that, then with insurance companies, our software is uh, what they are most likely using to help process the claim, uh, getting the estimates. There's definitely lots that goes into it besides that, but just to maybe use maybe to be brief and to give you at least an idea of what it is, uh, that's our software. So our main focus is insurance companies, but we do have contractors, builders, people are focused on remodel. There's a lot of a lot of people who use it, but it's one of those softwares that once you're in the industry you may never hear of it. But we're definitely a leader in the industry. Um, we own uh, the majority of the market with this and uh, we are very fortunate to be in our, what are we guys, 33 years, 31? We're kind of a grandpa for software companies, but we're doing great. A um, few housekeeping items. Uh, first of all, my name is Norm Foster. I help run uh, the meetups. I'm part of the employee development group here at Exactware, and these are uh, ones that we host. Uh, we host quite a few groups, so if you're ever interested and want to check out what we have going on at Exactware, you can go to our, it's called Exactware uh, Technical and Professional Development at Exactware. It's a really long name. It used to be called All Code on Meetup, um, but we aren't doing ice cream every time, so we thought we might, we, we better stop tricking people into thinking we are, but we do do dinner quite frequently. Um, anyway, we'd love to have you at more meetups. And uh, if there is uh, any sort of emergency, we'll just exit right out the doors that we came. Restrooms are just straight back here. Uh, there's just a uh, hallway right over here that you can, uh, that you can use. Uh, we've got beverages, food. Please, please eat a lot because anything that's left over, I have to take home or divvy out somewhere. So please go for seconds, thirds, fourths, whatever you need. This is a judge-free zone. Um, and that's it. So if you need anything, um, please let me know. But I'll kind of wander in and out. And if you haven't grabbed the survey on the back, please make sure you grab one just before you go. Fill it out real quick and just put it face down on the table. Or give it to me. Or call it. Yeah. yeah, that's great too. And if, has anyone tried getting on the Wi Fi? I'm curious. Yeah. We're good. It's working. Okay. We had a big security revamp, and so it's been a little tricky getting there. So I'm glad it's working. Hey, thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right, welcome. And uh, again, uh, so many thanks to Exactware for, for sponsoring this, for giving us a place to meet and great dinner. And uh, I see, uh, yeah, also, <coughs> I've been uh, paying the fees for meetup.com to keep this thing going. And I just got an email today from Ionix saying they're going to start paying that. And uh, so yeah, we're excited to keep it going. They're, they're, we're corresponding right now to set up the worldwide meetup in April uh, at NGCOM up in Salt Lake, and it'll be it'll be nearby NGCOM. Last year we did it at Dev Mountain, a block away from the Grand America Hotel where they're having, and um, so we're, we're we're looking for a host for that as well. I'm just waiting back hear back from the Ionic to find out which night. Uh, they want to do it so we can line that up. But that's that's a great event. We get we get uh, two or three employees from Ionic, and then we get several uh, Google developer experts and Angular and stuff that have also specialized in Ionic that that come there from all over the world. And that's it's a great meetup. I was there last year, and uh, Corey. But um, and it's also an opportunity for us to network with them. And uh, we we did some demos. Last year, and uh, actually impressed. I think Corey and, and, and uh, one of the Dead Mountain students presenting some of their Ionic projects. Uh, they were really impressed with the, 
the work that was being done here. Uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, so keep watching meetup.com for, for the date, specific date and time. I've got a placeholder out there, I think, on Wednesday night, something like that. But it, it, that, that will change as soon as we know when it will be. Um, let's see, let's, let's do some quick introductions. Um, if you would, just uh, tell us your, your name, what you do for work, and if this is your first time here. And I'm Todd Hale. I work here at Exactware. I'm a web developer. I don't get near as much time in Ionic as I'd like to. I maintain an Ionic application just for the web, so we don't build it and deploy it in the app stores. Uh, it just uh, <coughs> runs on the web. And um, But mostly I work on our desktop website, uh, exactanalysis.com. And uh, I've been enjoying doing Ionic for a couple of years. Again, I'm so busy, I don't get enough time with it. But uh, this is my way of, of uh, uh, trying to commit myself to, to learning more about it and, and doing more with it and getting myself some apps in the App Store. That's the end goal for all of us. Um, <clears throat> so we've got, uh, first to start us off, uh, the, uh, we've got college just across the freeway here, M-Tech, Mountain Land Technical College. And uh, I'm a part-time sub-teacher down there in the web development program. It's a nine-month program, and we do, um, let me see, your group, did you do like two months of Angular or three months? I, was, I think it was two months. Two months of Angular, and then tacked on the end of that is a few days of Ionic, since it's Angular. <coughs> and uh, it's just a couple days that the students work in that to learn how to build out an app. And, and so... We're excited to have Jared and Weston here to, to present their project. It's their student project that they did 